testing the light monitor panel. Uh, these are the common light monitor panels that I've noticed that uh, appear around, uh, usually around the Bluebird bodies. Um, these operate off of a uh, reed relay uh, with a coil wrapped around them that uh, pass current through the coil and pull in the relay. Uh, so the ideal bulb is for testing is uh, the dual filament 1157 uh, because you have the the tail lamp uh, low current side plus your stop lamp or warning lamp side or backup lamp um, filament in one bulb here that you can actually use as a test uh, for that. Uh, just looking at uh, the bulb itself, uh, the low side for the park lights uh, is drawing it about, about a half an amp and uh, if you switch over to the uh, like the warning lamp or the stop lamp circuit side it is about two amps two amps of current draw and uh, that's just with a single single bulb uh, of course you know we have a couple sockets here only just gonna be for this test uh, needing one bulb at this time and we'll start out with the uh, uh, panel here we have the panel powered up uh, 4d terminal is our 12 volt positive in the panel 6d is a ground this gets the uh, logic of the panel powered up the LED portions the lamps and so forth uh, our 7d terminal is uh, tail lamp uh, right output uh, 7C, right, 7C, tail lamp, right output. We'll verify our connection here. And of course, we're on our park lamp, or low side of our filament. These are the only two circuits, the left and right tail, that will pull in at approximately a half an amp, because that sees that circuit working. Uh, that's its function, uh, is to actually monitor in and the wiring that is on that reed is an actual more wire on that reed to create a magnetic field so there's our both left and right now to uh, move on up say to backup lamp uh, backup lamp 6c is our input so we'll put our input on 6c and backup lamp right output is 8C. And here is our 8C. So we will tap onto our 8C. Now, if we notice, we either get a quick flash of the lamp and it does not stay lit, which is indicating a problem in our circuit here and our problem is the lamp that we're using we're using the park lamp uh, portion of this bulb which is either indicating uh, to the monitor panel here that hey there's not enough current being drawn here or the lamp is out uh, so we need to switch bulbs here and I'll do that here on my on my panel here we will switch to the larger filament which is our, which is equivalent to the uh, backup lamps, and we will test there. Uh, backup lamp right output, eight C. And notice it stays lit because we're drawing the uh, uh, proper current, which is two amps through that circuit. So it doesn't see it as a fault, so the monitor panel stays lit. And uh, 5D is our uh, 5D. Here is 5D. And that's our other side. And the same thing goes for 
We won't go through the whole panel, but the same thing goes for any of our warning lamps. Uh, we'll still use the 2 amp supply here, uh, 2 amp filament. And so we'll go to 4A. We'll pick up one of the warning lamps, do a test there. 1A. And we'll go to 1A. And we'll notice it stays lit. And it lights up with the lamp. As long as the lamp is lit, it is lit. 1A, and that is our right front. And we'll go with uh, 6A. And notice is if, if the lamp is lit, it will stay lit. Having a hard time there keeping it on the terminal. So that, uh, of course, you can go through all the other, other combinations. And one, we're using the high side of the filament. Uh, for for all of these all of these warning lamps, the high side two amps um, signals uh, break uh, reverse lights all, all everything on this panel except for the two parking lamps the two park lamps uh, are the only ones that are on the low side. Everything else is high side filament of the eleven fifty seven should get you in in the test. The uh, basic idea of the circuit, uh, the components being used in this circuit, basically would be a glass reed. This, one, of course, is much bigger, and the magnetic wire, which, uh, depending upon how much current, you know, you could create your own monitor. Uh, the more wire you put on it, the uh, the smaller your load, and just wrap your wire on over top of the glass reed, and create a coil uh, like so. And you could end up, you know, with the amount of turns that you need over your glass reed, based on how much current you need to go through the circuit. Your LED would be attached to the uh, read relay power input and your LED on your output circuit here just monitoring whether the read is closed or open and your load would travel through the coil. That's kind of the basic idea of what is in the uh, monitor panel. 